Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It's about 822 now, but I am pre-recording this so it can be ready at the market open. The first thing I want to show you is what SPX did yesterday, basically kind of sat in a in a doji pattern, not really doing anything, consolidating. I believe it was waiting for data this morning. This morning, the data is going to come out at 830. So while I'm on this call, it's going to happen. And I'm sure we're going to get to see some of the movement that's going to take place here but this is what um spx did yesterday we can look at the es and see what it's doing this morning but i would presume and actually i looked it's probably just kind of sitting around waiting this is what the es has been doing through the night just kind of climbing a little bit taking its time sitting got some resistance right here at 5248 looks like and that's just basically it's just chilling volatility for the morning the vix is at 1387 you know we we're, this seems to be home for us between 12 and 14 15 seems to be like the place the vix wants to stay so that's where we are this morning with that yahoo finance basically gamestop and i'm going to cover i'm going to do a the look at the chart on gamestop but you already know i don't it's like beyond technical analysis gamestop and amc there uh, did listen how, why what makes these thing i think a guy popped up who had been off of twitter forever and and now he came back, put a meme out, and next thing we know, GameStop and, and AMC take off for the moon. I want to say GameStop is now over $40, maybe $43. Um, Does set the cash in on the new meme stock rallies. So they're kind of going along with it. Get yourself, you know, if you're going to in either one of these stocks, just know that it's money you may walk away from. It may work out and it may not. So don't trade any with GMs, you know, with money that you think you really need. <laughs> um, three key sectors targeted in, in President Joe Biden's new tariffs on China. Hmm. Dow ends a hot streak. Meme stocks pop on major rally. That's kind of good. U.S. futures trapped as inflation limbo as meme rally roars back roars back right so cbc has us our futures um dow futures up 0.10 percent s p futures up 0.05 percent nasdaq futures up 0.01 percent which basically is flat which means it can definitely turn back at any minute oil is red and 10-year bonds are unchanged all right so of course gamestop and amc are the the top comments and top things on on cnbc alibaba shares fall five percent in the pre-market trading after posting 86 percent profit drop 86 percent profit drop that's humongo that's why it would fall home depot misses on revenue as high interest rates hurt sales absolutely people aren't coming in there buying stuff on credit right shark take fans shop okay 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 da, da, da. okay cool cool as far as data goes, today is Tuesday, and we're going to have PPI this morning, not CPI. I think I saw CPI somewhere. We have PPI this morning at 8.30. It's going to come out in about four minutes, as you can see. I'll swing back through this after we get some data. FOMC member Cook is going to speak at 9.10. Powell is speaking at 10 o'clock. This is the most important piece of this. Even if PPI data does whatever, whatever, Powell speaking at 10 o'clock matters, absolutely matters. So definitely trade accordingly. We trade what we see in these parts. We don't trade what we want to see. We trade what we do see. Absolutely. We trade what we do see, not what we want to see. Okay, let's look at some earnings this morning. We've got earnings from uh, um, this morning. Well, yesterday we had some stuff that um, Tara Wolf was one of them, Metro Bras, Metro Bras, Spanish, um, PaySafe, and Agilisys. This morning we've got Alibaba, which we talked about Home Depot, same thing, C. Ocugen, I got to go look at Ocugen, Intuitive, Miniso, B-A-K-K-T, um, Organogram, and HUD Bay. After market close today, we've got new Next Tracker um, on track. 
uh, DHT. Some of these are people I don't even recognize. Don't even recognize. And then tomorrow morning before market opens, we've got Monday Dole Hut Eight, which is a mining stock. Um, Cresco Labs, make my trip. Okay, seeing what else, whatever else, and Cisco is tomorrow afternoon after market closes. Let's see what Adam Mancini had to say. He said, it's been eight green days for SPX. Yesterday, 5217, 5242 was the range with 5225 as the mid pivot. We're now, we've now been glued to 5225 for 19 hours. Total chop as we wait for CPI. That's where I saw it, even though it's PPI, but maybe CPI is a few days from now. Don't overtrade this noise. Basically, the plan is no change. 52.15 is support, keeps 52.34 and 52.42, which is a major resistance. And in, in, um, next up, and if 52.15 fails, then we finally sell. XSP, you've got 525 calls and 521 puts are there. Okay, let's go look at us some, some, some charts. Let's go look at some charts, see what we see over here. Let me make sure it's sharing over there. Yep, it is. Okay. Um, I wanted to look really quick at GameStop just so we can see what, what's happening with GameStop. Basically, this was, um, we can put on a daily chart and see what happened yesterday. This was yesterday, basically gapped up. And ran up really high. High yesterday was 38.20, right? And then now if we go look at um, what's happening in the pre-market and post-market, we're currently at $56. It's currently at $56. I think this is, oh, maybe higher. Well, it was at 56, went up to as high as 79. It is now back at 62 bananas just flat out banana banana i had a we had an ie in china and ie means like helper made um the ie so our ie at our school who was like the school cleaning person she made the stack anyway we would try to teach her english and we would tell her banana and she would say banana <laughs> she always say this is but it's a banana. So this right here, this AMC thing is banana. Okay, this GMC, not AM, not AMC, GM. This is also banana, though. AMC still is also. Yesterday, um, um, AMC closed in the ten dollar range. Uh, don't know down here it closed in the five dollar range. Let me get that right. It closed at five and it is now ten fifty. So it has risen five dollars in the post and the pre market. People buying the shares. It has come into some resistance and dropped back a bit. Uh oh, I see the data must have hit over here on um on the chart on S and P five or S P X five hundred. This is. The candle based on the data. Ooh, big old big red, big red candle happened at 8:30. You know what's interesting to me? The data will pop out, and like at the very second the data comes out, the candle starts to move crazy. It's like, how does it move so fast? Was there something like there was there like a pre-anticipation that says at 8:30, drop it? And then it just falls down. It but you gotta watch. You know, definitely we got another hour before the market opens. So keep that in mind that you we again we trade what we see. We trade what we see here. Not what we want to see, but what we do see. Okay, I'm gonna leave that over there because I did want to go and look at some stocks. I do wanna um look at some some things. I don't know if Riot is on our list, and I don't think it is, but Riot seems to be having sensitivity. So I wanted to make sure that we looked a little bit at it. Let me turn off some of these, some of these lines so that way we can see clearly now the lines are gone. Okay, so um, I'm looking at Riot. Uh, I see some resistance right there. And if I'm pulling this, I can see some support here. There's a few gaps down here that have not been filled that are going to want to be filled. So there's this one here in the eights. And the one here, uh, I think, is partially being filled at this point. Oh, it's been fully filled. But this can the candle 
Yesterday's candle filled that gap completely. If you can see that yesterday's candle went down and closed that whole gap. So I can take that gap back off because it is closed. But, you know, the bottom of gap does provide support. So if we want to look at some support, we can look at support at the bottom of this gap. And it also has started to move back up 950 is current price so now we're on a downward trend but if you look at the lines if we do like a trend line um, we really have uh, a flag if you want to call it a flag pattern that's been formed we got from the top to the from the top the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top whoop something's got to give so um yeah we really could look at potentially an iron condor if you'd like but there's some mood, some potential movement. Definitely trade what you see. I see nine dollars and some change as support. Um, before I leave uh, AMC, we talked before. Well, we traded, not talked. We traded. We traded AMC for a long time as credit spreads. We traded AMC a long while. AMC really likes the three dollar, four dollar range. Um, it really likes it down here. So uh, I do see. Support if you wanted to do some some uh, put credit spreads here. Let's see if I see some something in the middle. So that way you could if there's a place this is just talk about a pivot machine gun. It's just pew 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 pew. It's just shooting. So at this point, there is a pause that happened down around five and some change five five forty one, and there's a gap up here in the six dollar range right up in here six forty. Um, there was a bit of a slowdown. Lord, okay, it's, where do you see support and resistance? Okay, let me see if I see some support up in here. Yep, that's in the ten forty one. It hit and came back down so if i was looking at another one below that if you were it's moving so fast that it's been moving fast yesterday and just know that the people are going to fomo into it which is fear of missing out and if you want to you know capture some of that money the way you're decaptured it is, is as a seller you need to capture as a seller because the buying piece is tentative and you have to see how that how that plays out but as a seller you we already know we got much better chances if you want to get in on it as a seller. Okay, so I had um, AMC I wanted to look at. I looked at Riot and I wanted to look at Amazon because I feel like we didn't look at, I didn't look at Amazon over the weekend. And I wanted to check it out, to check it out, out. Is Amazon or AMD, which one of these has is the higher stock. Oh, AMD is 150 and Amazon is 185. Okay. So what I see here for Amazon, it did hit some resistance up here in the 189 area, which was also back from April, back in April, that had some a spot there. A bit consolidating really for like the last five or six, seven trading days in this zone. We do have some support. I actually probably would move this support line down to the bottom of this gap because that's going to really provide support, which is like pre-market. It's at 165.18. So that gap is actually being filled in the pre-market. So we want to trade accordingly, trade accordingly. Maybe it's just pulling back a bit so it can gain some more strength. And um, if I was looking, I actually like the, let me see what else is back here. Mm. I think I would like to go above this this top area to maybe up to 190. Uh, let me see what I have here. So we're looking at Amazon. What is on the on the list for call credit spread area for this week? Um, 190, 192.5 could be a good place and underneath could be 180. So 190, 180, let's go see what happens if we put it on vertical. 190 is paying $46 for 2.5 spread. That's about a 20% um, return. And 180 is paying $14, which is about a 5% return on your collateral. Of course, if you can get both, partner those together, you're up to about 25% return on your on your money. 
potentially not a bad situation for Amazon plus minus four. So you want to subtract four, push at 182, which is good. Add four to this, put you at 190. So actually, you probably could get um to 182 in this area, taking that $30, taking the other 46. That's a hundred dollars you've taken in on 250 of collateral. Yeah, I like that. I'm liking that. So let's go. I'm gonna go right on here and write in some words. I'm actually liking liking that. Um, call credit spread 190, 192.5, and a put credit spread. Let me put another thing on here. Put credit spread at what did I say 180, 182.5. Not investment advice, of course, but it can provide some may provide some opportunities. 190 may feel a little close for some people because um, it's just above support. But you could, you know, definitely go up one more strike. And if you went up to 192.5, um, that's paying $20. That's just a little bit below 10%. And then if you're going to partner that with the other side, definitely will be over 10%, which what we we like to have the 10% return on your collateral, 10% return on collateral. Okay. Amazon, we looked at um, AMC. And we looked at Riot. Riot is one that's going to require a little more watching to see which way it decides to go. Notice over here to the right, not sure if y'all can see this, that big old drop on the SPX candle is basically coming right back up. And we'll see what, what that's going to do. At this point, it remains to be seen. And we should see what happens when, when it releases. Let's refresh this so we can see what the PPI numbers. Actually, the PPI numbers came in green. Well, you know, 0.5 percent. They're colored green. <laughs> PPI. They thought it was going to be 0.2 percent, and it's 0.5 percent for both of those. So, but keep in mind, still, um, Powell is going to speak at 10, so you're going to want to just be mindful of that when that comes, when the time comes. Okay, be mindful of that when the time comes. Y'all know we got a whole list of credit spreads that you can trade for the week. Check out the list. Go see what you like. You can also go to usepeakbot.com slash watch lists and um, look at the watch list and see if anything on there catches your fancy for today. If the list I have isn't sufficient. So start with the chart is a you know charting webinar. It is for the free. For the free, F-R-E-E, -E. go to startwiththechart.com, watch the um, free charting webinar so we can see what we need to see for charting technical analysis, for charting technical analysis. Don't forget the E2T membership is always open where we rinse and repeat. We wrap it, you know, around that you, you want to come join us. We've got morning calls. We've got weekly training calls. We've got coaching calls. All the programs I put on, if you're a member, you get access and you're involved automatically in all of those things. Oh, I meant to go back to Sim May before I wrap up. Sim May, we, we are taking the month of May to do, if you're doing some learning of a strategy, you're fine tuning a strategy, we're doing that in the Sim. Now, if you've got a strategy that's working for you and it's profitable, no problem, then go ahead and run that live. But if you've got a strategy that you're using that is not profitable, then you need to run it in the Sim. OK, not even trying to be funny. Use your paper account. A lot of us moved to Schwab yesterday. Some people love it. Some people don't. Not you know, not so much. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm on my device, how do I go to the paper trading and not on my computer? I want to be able to go into my SIM on my phone. But when I log into Schwab, it takes me straight into the live account and doesn't even give me a choice. TD Ameritrade at least gave me a choice. Schwab don't even give me a choice. OK, be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell and all those good things so you can join us every time I go live. Um, the Trader's Declaration. I declare I'm a great trader. I declare I'm a successful trader. I declare I'm a focused trader. I declare my wins exceed my losses. My account's growing more and more each week. I'm a wise and knowledgeable trader. I always make smart and lucrative decisions for my portfolios. I declare I'm a level-headed trader who does not trade my emotions. 
and then our prayer. Lord, it's you who gives us the power to get wealth. You teach our hands to war with the purpose of establishing your kingdom. Help us today to trade wisely and strategically in order to fulfill this purpose. Give us more than enough so we can have what we need and enough to be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Okay. So I want to wrap it up. I want you all to have a great green day. And uh, definitely we want to stay green and we want to get this money. I will see you in the market. If you're in my community, you can find me in the Telegram. Talk later, everybody. Bye.